hello, hello, Leo, my sun sign brothers and sisters. How are you? Welcome to your career and money reading for October 2022. It's for the sun, moon, and rising sign of Leo. It is, of course, a collective reading, you guys. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. You guys know the drill by now. Be sure to check your other signs for any additional messages that may be coming through for you. If you like my content, please like it, share it, hit that subscribe button, guys. I really appreciate it. See if that comes up again. You have continued to grow, and I cannot thank you enough. So thank you, thank you, thank you. If you're new to my channel, hi, how are you? It's good to meet you. If you're returning, hello, welcome back. It is so great to see you again. And as always, you guys, if you want to book a personal reading with me, and you should, the link is in the description box below. All right, let's get into it. Leo's. Okay, we're feeling a little bit tired. <laughs> Let me know if you feel it. Did that, um, what was it, the full moon in Pisces last month? Like, in September, did that not kick your ass? It totally kicked my ass. But uh, we're feeling a little bit tired, a little bit drained right now. Um, just in general, but it could be financially as well. Have no fear. Have no fear. Because opportunities are going to be coming in. Offers are going to be coming in. And it's almost like this, well, I don't know what to do now. You know? This this overwhelm. This sense of, well, what next? You know? This, oh, well, geez, I don't know. I don't know. You know? Because we, we have opportunity. We have ideas. We have so much that we could do but we're just kind of because we're feeling drained we just can't seem to get focused on one thing so rest is always good listening to our passion right what gets us you know enthusiastic about life what kind of piques our interest what gets us feeling I don't know why red hot is coming into my head. Like, what gets us excited? What gets us feeling passionate? What makes us feel creative? And tapping into the creative aspect and finding a creative project, I feel, is going to draw us out of this fatigue or this drain because it's going to overpower it. It's going to be like, oh, but you know what? I like doing this. And we kind of forget about the overwhelm. And the more we tap into that creativity, the more we see we have all the tools for manifestation. Great month for manifestation, you guys. October, perfect for manifestation. We have everything that we need in place, right? So it's kind of like if we can just get our heads straight about what is it that we want to manifest, it will manifest. Do you know what I mean? Now, it will take a little bit of work, but it won't feel necessarily like work, okay? Um, because we're feeling that creative pull. So we're not going to be feeling like it's like we're overcoming this drained feeling. So even though we're working at this manifestation and like, oh, I've decided what I want and I'm over the overwhelm and, you know, it's it's going to come easy but listen to our intuition very divine feminine um energy here that nice being in flow sort of energy so listen to the intuition again we're following we're following our creative impulses but also what our emotions are telling us what makes us feel fulfilled okay what makes us feel blessed what makes us feel stable what makes us feel overwhelmed you know because we want to make sure we're not tapping into that you know but if we're not in tune we're kind of going to not be present enough to see it so that's our little reminder to stay in the moment stay in the flow um which doesn't look that hard for us this month things are going our way justice card scales are in balance we have our clarity on our shoulder like things are Tickety boo. This is a great fucking month. Despite feeling, you know, a little tired. So again, 
we need to kind of, we have the scales on both sides here, right? We need to balance them out. What is it again? What, what is going to balance out that fatigue feeling and what makes us feel excited so we can even it out? So it's just going to take a little bit of time to map that out in our minds and tear down anything. And I repeat anything that throws us off balance here with the two of pentacles. So what is throwing us off our game? There's going to be a little bit of an assessment. Once we come over the overwhelm and we're like, okay, I'm, I'm in flow. I'm going for it. This is what I want to do. It's like, say no to anything that's not that. This tower card, it's like, we tear it down. We're getting rid of anything that doesn't make us feel passionate and excited and creative, okay? This is our own doing because things are going well for us. Things, things are in our favor, okay? We might have to do a little bit of work at it. But it doesn't matter because it is paying off for us. We just have to remember to keep our heads, keep our emotions in check, and really, really um, be in the now. But damn, you guys, I'm excited. I'm so excited about this. Uh, now I got to figure out what it is I want to bring in. All right, let me know in the comments what do you want to manifest? What is it that you're bringing in? You know, let's try and keep each other on track. Tell us what you're manifesting. So I really do appreciate you guys being here. I wish you all the best with this. I will talk to you very, very soon on the next video. Bye.